we're just kidding. We know that's not how old time hockey was played, but at least we don't think that's how it was played. We have a massive amount of respect for the pioneers of the sport, but we wanted to pick up one of these old Northlands 1950s hockey sticks and have a go at doing some basic drills on the ice with absolutely no curve. We're gonna see how we stack up against the pros of the past. Shooting! We wanted to challenge ourselves with a 1950s Northland hockey stick. Well, here we go. Let's see how we do. Ah, oh, nice try, pal. Want to give it another go? <laughs> Watch out for those posts. Always remember, friends, these sticks are made of hard lumber, which makes it heavy and stiff to shoot with, but we're gonna try our best anyway. Shooting and stick handling. It can be tricky to get through pucks with these old sticks. The blade's as straight as an arrow. Make sure to take your time and bend your knees. Without the curve, accuracy was an acquired skill, something that took years to master. Looks like you're on your way. Wow, look at that backhand, another benefit of the straight curve. Ah, the wraparound. Little bit different than the 1950s stick, eh? Uh, so I've been wanting to try this stick out since I got it. I'm kind of like a hockey history buff, and I know they used these a long time ago. And like, I watch a lot of old footage of Richard and Gordy Howe. And it, it's amazing when you use this thing because it really takes you back in time. You know, you have to forget everything you know about hockey today. So top right, top left. I mean, not that they didn't do that back then, but the goalies didn't wear helmets. Everything was down low. So you have to throw everything out that you know and start thinking and kind of like what they had to do back then where they could switch hands, uh, shoot low, and, uh, you know, like flick the wrists like we were talking about before. Uh, shooting is, I think we're bad because we've never done it. You know, we have to get used to it. But it's an awesome experience to try, the, like to feel like you're back in the 1950s. And I have so much respect for the, the guys that played back then. It's just, it was just awesome. The stick was horrible to shoot with. We eventually managed to get it down. Backhanders were easy because straight blade, so you didn't have to worry about the puck rolling away towards the toe. But other than that, it was terrible. You don't have any feel. You can't really roll your wrists with it. It's just not very good. Do you like a rounded shaft? This is much too square shaft for me. Shooting for me was terrible. Receiving passes was terrible. This thing feels like it weighs about the same as my car. I don't know how those guys handled it with one hand so easily, switched hands. If you can get access to one of these old sticks, please try it out. You won't believe how much you'll suck with it. But because of that, it gives me so much respect for the people that used this stick back in the day and could rip top shelf, dangle with it, insane. Newfound respect for those dudes, but oh my God, it's difficult using this thing. As always guys, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that we subscribe post. Subscribe today! <laughs> this place is... Hey! Hey! How are you? I'm oh, good. Good you to remember? see you. Yeah, of course I remember you yeah. from the skills camp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Dennis. Nice to meet you, Dennis. Nice I'm Chris. You. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, hello. It's nice, sir. That's nice bumping your head, mate. How'd you get that? Well, you wanted an authentic all-time hockey video, right? Took one for the team here, bud.